Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing swatches for the Lena Lashes More Matte Than Matte Liquid Lipsticks. And before we get started, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell button to make sure you get notifications whenever I post. This is going to be my first time trying anything from Lena Lashes. I don't wear lashes, so I decided to go ahead and order some of their liquid lipsticks. I placed my order on the 15th of December. I got a shipping confirmation on the 23rd, and then I did receive my lipsticks on the 29th of December. And it did come via USPS. In total, I ordered 10 lipsticks and I just decided that if I do like the formula I'll go back and order more colors or I will try different lines because they did have different variations of their lipsticks. So as always when I do these swatching videos I'm going to make sure that I have the name on screen and then once I'm done with all the swatches I'll come to you guys at the very end and let you guys know all my thoughts, comments, questions, concerns, initial impressions, all that good stuff. So just to show you guys the packaging it says more matte than matte liquid lipstick and you turn it over and it has these blue and gold stripes on the box and then finally it says Lena cosmetics. So on the bottom it does have the name of each different lipstick and then it comes in this matte clear tube that has this gold trim as well as a black top. all 10 of the shades right now on my lips I'm wearing the last one you saw me swatch which was James something that I wanted to point out was that four out of the ten shades did come in different packaging they did not have the matte container it is a glossy container with a gold lid rather than a blue lid and then also something I noticed was that Angela was the only one I believe that had a different labeling on the bottom it had a white labeling and it just says Angelo and it's in a different font and different color and then this has clear labeling so it's not too big of a deal. It was just something when I first saw it, I was like, oh, did I get like a different type of formula? Also, I noticed that the applicators on these ones were also different. And for some of them, I did notice that the formula was a little bit creamier. I know on the two reds, those are the ones that I kind of just didn't really care for too much just because when I was applying them, they would dry really creamy. They wouldn't dry fully matte. And then I would try and like maybe blot my lips to see, okay, maybe some of the shine will go away and it would just come off patchy. So these were two of my least favorite shades and I really wanted them to work out. Um, they were very translucent even on the top lip. Usually on the top lip, I get good color payoff and it's on the bottom where I have the patchiness. Another thing that I wanted to point out were two of the shades looked very, very similar to me. It was Jason and Luscious. Those are the two shades. Obviously, you can tell that there is a difference. One is deeper than the other. However, when I was trying it on, then they did look very, very similar. These do have a very, very comfortable wear. And of course, once you first apply it, it has this silky smooth finish. However, when you start talking, then it adjusts to the wrinkles of your lips and it feels really good. It doesn't crumble off or anything. Um, my lips don't feel restricted it's just very comfortable. As far as the formula texture goes, the ones in the gold lids did have that creamier texture and then as for everything else, they did have that in between of being very liquidy and being creamy so it was right down in the middle. However, I will say I believe it was luscious. That one was a little bit runny. That was the only one that I noticed that was super runny. However, it dried 
super quick and there wasn't really any issue with it. Which brings me to the next thing. These dry super fast. Like as soon as you're putting on, it's already drying. So it's really good. You don't have to sit here and fan your lips. The ones that were creamier, those were the ones that I did have to fan my lips. Um, I think Angelo was the one that I waited to dry the longest. However, it looked absolutely beautiful when it was completely dry. So I just went and checked on their website and all of these do retail for $15. However, my order for all 10 of these did come up to $60. I didn't realize that they were having a sale. Um, but just so you guys know, these do retail for $15. So overall, I really do like these lipsticks. I will say that I do prefer the ones that come with the blue lids rather than the gold lids. My least two favorite were Idris and Laurent. And then my favorite two were Frederick and James. Something that I wanted to mention as I'm taking this off is that these are slightly difficult to take off. So I definitely recommend using some kind of oil to remove these just so it's a little more gentle on your lips. So as you guys can see, this is my lips after trying on all 10 lip shades and they're slightly irritated and flushed just from rubbing them off 10 times in a short period of time. However, there's not even really any staining going on. So that's something to keep in mind. It's really good. They're not going to stain your lips too badly. So you guys, that is all that I have for you. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. So you guys, that is all that I have for you. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, like the video, give it a thumbs up, share this video with somebody that you think would like these lipsticks or find this helpful. And as always, I will catch you guys later. Bye. Mm -hmm. She don't like me, dog. She just like